Robots have gone a long way. Robots have progressively adopted human-like characteristics as technology has advanced, and they are now affectionately known as humanoid robots. However, these robots are more than simply adorable. They may also be terrifying. In this video, we will discuss an interview recorded at CES 2022, the most prominent tech event of the year, so stay tuned. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about terrifying interview with a female humanoid robot. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. In the first public demonstration of this humanoid robot called Amica, the differences between a human and an android have kind of muddled. Right from the start, doing an interview with a robot will be unsettling. At the CES 2022, the CNET crew got the opportunity to interview Amica to see if the robot could deliver human-like replies. Most videos and posts have previously demonstrated Amica's lifelike face reactions, but Mecca's spoken comments were particularly unnerving. If you've been cruising the internet lately, you've probably already seen Amica. The public display revealed that the humanoid robot had a gray-colored face and facial emotions that spread like wildfire throughout social media. Even the most tech-savvy entrepreneurs like Elon Musk were terrified. Now, most people had a haunting response to Amica's expressions, but its UK-based creators engineered arts over the moon since the humanoid robot had become an instant hit. They reported that Amica's first look on Twitter earned them almost 24 million views. One thing was for sure, even though we refer to Amica as a humanoid, but it does not quite have a human-like appearance. Amica has a body made up of plastic and steel, and its facial expressions are not typical of any specific gender. Its head movements are controlled by 17 individual motors which are also responsible for controlling its expressions. Now, despite having a mechanical control over its facial expressions, the features themselves are very vivid and convey real life emotions. The blend of artificial and organic human-like expressions sh shows promise for the future. We've seen this happen in films like iRobot and Aliens. Things appear to have turned serious now. However, this humanoid robot has a long way to go before it can be considered human. Today, the majority of these humanoid robots are used in the entertainment business. They are also visible at restaurants, where people expect to engage and communicate with one another. But it's interesting to see what these robots would do in the future. We already have some idea when we see Amica in action, since it was partly inspired by all the famous sci-fi movies. Amica's body is made up of latex flesh, and her expressions were animated enough to distract other people who were conducting an interview with the team behind Amica. Amica was continuously responding to questions posted by the CNET team to the creators through its expressions. Amica would raise its eyebrows and twitch her upper lip to the impression that she is smiling. But Amica is not the first humanoid robot to have attracted public attention. The creative team behind Amica, the UK-based engineered arts, had already produced an impressive line of humanoid robots called Mesmer. Mesmer has been in production for the past four years and have been publicly shown in many conferences and tech-related events. What's really interesting about Mesmer robots is that it is designed and built from 3D in-house scans of real people. One advantage of using scans of real people in its construction is that the company is able to masterfully replicate bone structures, skin texture, facial expressions, and even hair density in eyebrows. Another unique advantage of Mesmer is that it has been designed to be modular. This means that it can be changed quite a bit to fit a prospective client's requirements. So if you are not particularly in love with how the head of your humanoid robot looks, you can swap it out with just a simple click. Also, the mechanics have been designed to fit your specific needs. Toshiba's robotic humanoid Aka has the capacity to give a big wide smile Aika is able to do that because of the motors present in its head. Aika also has some unique facial expressions, and Toshiba has announced that Aika Chikara will work on the information department of its store. Aika is only capable of speaking Japanese, but it will also communicate through sign language. But as far as Aika is concerned, it is more than just eye candy. Yes, Aika has not been designed for exposure to conferences and cannot certainly run and jump like robots designed by Boston Dynamics. 
Moreover, Aika is not a robot which can be simply pre-ordered as a household helper. Engineered Arts has publicly said that it will be at least 10 years before Aika will be walking amongst the public in the capacity of a service robot. Now let's imagine what the future would look like with Amika walking amongst us. Although many tech enthusiasts would see this as a positive development, but there were many people who were absolutely terrified of how Amika responded to questions. So, when humanoid robots like Amika will roam freely within us, will it mark the twilight of human civilization? This remains to be seen, since we have another decade before that actually happens. Something else also seems to be taken into account. Amika does not have Mesmer's colored skin tones and certainly does not have lifelike human hair on its head. Amika has a translucent plastic skull and its body consists of visible joints. This means that Amika is not a typical humanoid robot and it was deliberately designed that way. The reason is that Mesmer robots have been designed to mimic humans in all respects. If Amika followed Mesmer's template, then it would mean that Amika would look a bit more sinister. Amika was deliberately designed to create a unique look. Amika's body has been designed in keeping with its 10-year production gap. The artificial body will help users to be more comfortable with its usage, and they will be able to look into any issues they run into. Engineered Arts was going for something midway between full-on human body replication and a futuristic robotic-oriented design. The robots will have a camera installed in its eyes so that its vision could monitor the environment in which it is to function. The cameras will also be able to track human expressions and react appropriately to it. Also, the camera-assisted vision system would be able to see objects and monitor it. Omiko was also responding to people looking at it through raising its eyebrows and paying attention to bystanders. Omiko has been seen as smiling in response to certain questions, which by the way, did not seem like a natural human smile. One reason why it seemed kinda inhuman was because it was plasticky and metallic, adjectives which we rarely use to describe an attractive human smile. Amika also leaned back when a hand was waved near its face. Let's just say that Amika does not look like humans in all respects. This realization was not lost on the interviewer who was asking difficult questions to Morgan Rowe, Director of Operations of Engineered Arts. He asked if while working late at night over a couple lines of code, he would be worried if Amika was glancing secretively at him and, well, winking at him in the dark. Aside from its apparent humor, the question was addressing something profoundly existential. We'd be nervous if someone was hiding in the dark and staring at us. Would the individual being stared at feel stalked? Morgan Rowe reassured him that working with robotics on a daily basis was commonplace and that he had seen so many engineers strolling through the workshops, sometimes carrying Amika parts. Thankfully, Amika does not resemble humans. If it did, witnessing your co-workers carry the head of a very human-like robot would be quite unsettling. I suppose all of us should count our blessings then. This concludes today's video. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you found something of value in it. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and take care. Goodbye and see you in the next video.